Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd do a little showcase video on the latest Hot Toys 1-6 scale Michael Keaton from the 1989 Batman movie. I have reviewed the figure on the channel, so check out the full review. This is more of a showcase video, usually I just have music playing over the top with the footage, but I know you like to hear folks talking in the videos, so I thought I'd do like a little commentary track over the top of it. Beautiful custom cape here on the Hot Toys 2.089 Batman. And you can get your custom cape from Lab Toys on Facebook there. Beautiful cape. And I also have one for my 92 Batman Returns version by Hot Toys. And yeah, despite my issues with the terrible choice for the texture of the suit, uh, I'm having a lot of fun working with the figure. It has some pretty good posability in the arms, which we'll see in this video and a beautiful diorama here by my friend Glenn Page at Cult Creations if you want to get yourself a beautiful 1-6 scale diorama of anything you can pretty much come up with in your head Glenn can create it as well as other scales like NECA figures and stuff like that so Glenn is the chap who made the beautiful diorama you're seeing here in the background and just beautiful I mean I love Batman figures Batman is the reason I started the channel back with Batman Begins being the main influence that's a beautiful shot right there with the the battle damage mouth plate with the eyes just staring forward it looks really intense and kind of insane which he was kind of a little bit crazy and you know the michael keaton version of batman and that's part of the reason i love it there's a really nice shot there about to throw the uh, batarang decent posability in the arms i don't know how long that posability is going to last i remember the original DX 89 Batman was capable of do, you know, doing pretty much stuff like this when I first got him many many years ago So we'll see how this figure holds up with posability over the years Still very very new recent addition to the collection. So it's too early to say But he's certainly able to pull off cool fight stances like this and that would look great on the shelf The thick rubber suit should be fine. You know, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about anything like that there are inaccuracies. Obviously, the belt's not the right tone of yellow. Obviously, the, shoot, the suit should be smooth rather than all kind of bumpy and rough. Some people are saying that's because it's based on after the Batwing crashes near the end of the movie. I really don't think that's a good excuse. Um, even if you go looking at that scene in the film when he's in the cathedral confronting the Joker, his suit isn't as um, textured, shall we say, as Hot Toys decided to do this time around. Uh, my suspicion is that they intend to release another one in a couple of years with a smooth suit and we'll just have to buy that one again and <laughs> um, you know eh, that's how it is but we covered all that in the review didn't we so let's just enjoy the fun that can be had with these figures this is this is the reason I do what I do really just the joy of photographing and filming figures and uh, getting a diorama like this just brings it all to life so well really good double bend in the elbow there and that beautiful custom cape just draping nicely has a really nice leathery look here he's talking into his back communicator i wasn't sure which way to face the uh, little communicator here in his hand so i did two versions one with the bat facing out and one with the bat facing in later there's another one of his gadgets that's a nice angle. I like the top-down kind of view here. I should have done that more in the video. But regardless of my issues, it's a beautiful looking piece. As you can see in the clip, I mean, let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Always like to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to hit the like button, folks. It'll help more people discover the channel. I really do appreciate that. Got some great stuff coming up on the channel. Uh, some stuff I'm going to save as a bit of a surprise and uh, some other stuff that's not so much of a surprise like today i decided to purchase the sideshow collectibles one six scale william money clint eastwood figure uh, from the classic western unforgiven which is my favorite western movie so i've ordered that from sideshow i don't often order stuff from sideshow but this is probably the second time i've ever done it so i'll be reviewing that once that comes along and Oh, I like this one because I, I tried to get him kind of hunching over a little bit like he was in pain. Like his ribs were hurting or something. But the figure wouldn't really do the exact kind of pose I was trying to do. But as far as the arms go, I mean, torso-wise, there's not much going on. But arms-wise, I'm able to get him to do 
pretty much what I need him to do. So, what's he got in his head? Oh, there. That's when I switched around the communicator to try, <laughs> just in case it was the wrong way around before. Looking to the side slightly, and yeah, it's a, it's a really good head sculpt. I am going to be reviewing the custom head sculpt for this figure made by Unreal Toys. And that is looking absolutely incredible over on the Unreal Toys Instagram account. You can see what he's working on. And I will be reviewing that. But the shape of the cow on this new Hot Toys 89 Batman, I think is pretty much perfect. The silhouette, you know, with the light hitting around the sides, it just looks stunning. And yeah, I never did really mess around with the stock cape for this figure much. I just didn't like the look of it straight out of the box. It just didn't work for me. So yeah custom cape is necessary in my opinion uh, I'd love to leave him like that on the shelf I might do that I don't have the space though for his arms to be out like that <laughs> it takes up too much real estate you know how it is folks and yeah his um, line launcher grapnel gun uh, had to get a few poses of him holding that so um yeah, Hot Toys wise, I'm just waiting for the Feral Predator from Prey. That's one that I want. And Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. Those are the two Hot Toys figures I'm waiting for uh, to be released. And uh, I'll try and get you some reviews on those too. But this is making me want to watch the movie again. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched the 89 Batman film. I love Batman Returns as well. But I, I think I'd have to say, oh, it's, it's difficult choosing between those two. Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman was incredible. And da Danny DeVito as the Penguin. That was a once-in-a-lifetime thing. That was a lightning-in-a-bottle moment. Very special. I mean, all of them combined. Christopher Walken, Michael Keaton, Michelle Pfeiffer, Danny DeVito in the sequel. You know, but Jack Nicholson as the Joker. I still think it's the most scary. I don't know. Uh, it, probably because of my childhood. Uh, you know, seeing the 89 Batman movie in the cinema when I was about eight years old. And finding the Joker quite creepy so there's been many great jokers now the new joker movie the sequel the joaquin phoenix one is not getting the best reviews at this time of me filming this video i haven't seen the film yet but it's not looking too good is it well, i really like the first one i love it it's one of my favorite films now but yeah early reviews are a bit mixed leaning more towards the negative but Anyway, folks, I'm going to wrap up talking, and I've got a lot of actual photographs coming up in the video now. This is all the video footage, and then you're going to get all the pictures. So I'll just let the music play over the pictures. But thank you for watching this. Check out the review if you haven't done already. Don't forget to hit the like button. It just helps out the channel. I really do appreciate that, folks. I hope you're all doing really well. October is fast approaching. There's so much to talk about. Terrifier 3, Joker 2. Uh, I forget. There's other stuff as well. Um... But yeah, I'll catch up with you. I'll get you that Q&A answers video on the channel very soon as well. Bear with me. There's so much going on at the moment behind the scenes. I'm just trying to keep up. So I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of the video. Take it easy. Bye-bye.